what's up y'all so i'm back let's go ahead and get off into chris's reading i'm not um these are not the master cards that i'm gonna pull i'm just shuffling these so that we can get some clean energy on it from talking about that lying ass damn lady that married the psychopath because she's a psychopath too but anyway let's talk about chris brown and this shit that's going on with him now you may not be a chris brown fan but there's a point when you have to acknowledge that some shit is old and some shit is stupid. And this bullshit is stupid that they're doing to Chris Brown. They are actively trying to blackball him. They're actively trying to take his um, his shine from him. They are actively trying to take his crown from him. And don't come for me in these comments talking about what crown. Y'all know Michael Jackson gave him the crown. Chris Brown is the king of R&B. The problem is... Somebody has him in a jar. And somebody ain't his friend. Two people. And I was trying to figure out how I was going to say that because Chris Brown is being blackballed by somebody or somebody's two people that um used to be his friend. Well, let's talk about why he's being blackballed and how they're able to use this. You know, on my channel, we talk a whole lot about choices and while Chris is a, a grown, he's a grown man now, and he's aware that his choices, when he was a younger man, may catch up to him or have caught up to him. And while he's trying to learn better ways and do things differently, knowing that he's made many mistakes in his past, he is not acknowledging the fact that this shit is going on spiritually, Chris. Okay, this is spiritually, baby, and physically, but we're going to talk spiritually real quick. This is going on because of uh, somebody that you were tied to or because of a rela past relationship that you were in. Um, somebody got you in a job, baby. Somebody's doing spell work on you. Somebody um, is having sex with somebody else and they are chanting things over you or in that orgasmic moment, they are, not you, let me say, let me directly say Chris Brown so y'all will know. But if that resonated with you, look, you need to pay attention. Some Somebody trying to put some sex magic on you. I had you out here running around crazy, tattooing motherfuckers' uh, face on your face like Krishan's stupid ass. We don't talk about her too, y'all. But yeah, this is somebody who is fucking somebody else and is um, speaking shit or thinking shit over him. In that orgasmic moment, and if you do sex magic, not that that's with that's the all the total. That's not everything that you need to do, but at that moment, you should be thinking about what it is that you want or what you want to happen, and that's exactly what this person or this woman, let me say that this woman is doing when she uh speaks shit over Chris Brown. And y'all know who the fuck this is. I'm not, let's not lay Zodiacs on it, but uh, we talking about Kariche Tran. I know y'all was waiting on me to say it was Rihanna, but it ain't Rihanna. Rihanna done moved on three times, baby. She ain't worried about Chris. Chris is definitely in her past. And this is why we need to leave this shit alone. Not we, because I've always been team Chris Brown and I've always been team Rihanna. Whatever happened between them, it was fucked up. But I know how to separate them from their music. And stay my ass in my business when it ain't time for me to be all up in arms. It was okay for y'all to be up in arms then. But this is 16 or 17 years later. We need to let this shit go, y'all. Stop helping this bitch admonish this man, okay? Uh, y'all be like, oh, she moved on too. She had a husband. And when she was fucking her husband, she was thinking about Chris Brown. Anyway, this is Karuche doing this shit. Oh, yellow ass bitch. Yes, she is. Now y'all like, damn, you be going hard on the light skins. Let me let me rephrase that because I don't want the light skins to think that I'm a hater. Let me say this phenotype because all y'all light skinned ass ain't a phenotype, okay? All of y'all ain't. But anyway, here she is doing her magic, doing her sex magic, thinking about Chris Brown and the way that it's able to work is because Chris has relied so heavily on sex in his life that this is where this demon strapped to him, like this, this succubus. Karuche Tran was absolutely a fucking succubus and she's pulling this man's energy. Let's talk Rihanna versus Karuche and why Karuche's punk ass feel like this. Now, like I said, regardless to whatever went on with Chris Brown and Rihanna, 
and I know that they've moved on or whatever. They truly loved each other. They really, truly did. Um, we're talking about Chris Brown now. Rihanna was showing, I mean, Chris was showing up as the more emotional one. Rihanna was the one that had control over her temper and shit or whatever, but they somehow matched. It was a thing like, and I didn't say they matched forever, but at the time that they were together, they were supposed to be together. They had to experience each other so Rihanna could experience an ASAP Rocky. And I absolutely do believe Chris Brown's wife is out there, but because he has not turned that curve yet and he knows that he's not ready to be somebody's husband, he isn't married yet. But he will get married, too. He's going to find his person, his other person, because Rihanna was his first person. Rihanna was his first person, and they each had very deep feelings for each other. And he respected Rihanna. You know, he liked that Rihanna was ultra feminine, and y'all know how Miss Fenty give it up. Y'all, y'all, I ain't even got to do it for y'all. I ain't even got to do it. Y'all know what Miss Fenty gives, honey. Chris Brown enjoyed all that. No, I mean, you know how stupid niggas is. He got Oshun in front of her, but of course he got to go cheat on her. He got to go cheat on her, and who did he go cheat on her with? Old Cooch Tran, honey. The funny thing is, like, you know, she's in her feelings, but she was just a fun time. She was just a party for Chris. Chris only fucked with her after Rihanna because the bitch had been there, but he never saw any long term with this bitch. She was just supposed to be there. She's supposed to just be that. That bitch was supposed to be his piece when he needed a fucking... He needed some difference from Rihanna or he wanted to go go have some motherfucking uh, egg rolls for the night. He gonna pull up on her. He pull up on this bitch and her, her Chinese pussy or whatever she is. Talk when he, nah, she ain't there. Let me stop for y'all. Say, I, I don't care if you call me racist, okay? Let me just put that there. I'm not racist, but I don't give a shit what you talking about. Anyway, her being obsessed with Rihanna and just to point it out, even in present day, she's fucking jealous of Rihanna. She was jealous of Rihanna then. She was jealous of Chris Brown, What the way Chris Brown treated Rihanna. And hear me out before you start typing. Get your goddamn fingers off the fucking keyboard. I didn't finish my statement. She was jealous of what Chris Brown was doing for Rihanna. She was um, sitting back with Rihanna on her mind, baby. And she had that Pisces on her motherfucking mind. So heavy, she... Why won't you do for me what you do for him? her? And, uh, we're together and uh, I want to be seen. You know, she had to be seen. You remember this bitch was showing up and shit like this. She just had to be seen. I asked one of Rihanna to know, look, although I, I got him too. And she was successful in it because she did a breakup spell and broke Rihanna and Chris Brown up. She really did. That's what happened. But before we move forward, you know, this bitch, let, let's finish out with the jealousy. She was mad, like, she was visibly saying, she was an outside looking in, she was the side chick. She wanted what Chris Brown was giving Rihanna. She wanted that status in his in his life at this time, and I need y'all to focus on the words that I'm saying instead of those weird motherfucking words that's formulating in your head to combat what I'm saying. Just fucking listen, bitch. It's part of y'all problem now. A lot of you women don't fucking listen. You start talking first. Shut up, bitch. That's what Karuche did. Instead of her investigating and looking and just understanding, look, I came into this shit fucking this nigga knowing that he had a bitch. Ain't no way that he gonna take me seriously. He never did. I know he screamed her name in the fucking song, but that was after Rihanna was gone because the bitch was there, y'all. Keep telling you. But anyway, she like, I want what she get. And like I said, she was successful in it. She did a little breakup spell, did a little razzle dazzle money. And she started getting what Rihanna got. You know, and Chris Brown and Rihanna broke up and shit. And, you know, look at the dog. Look at her sitting ass here at his feet. It's Rihanna, that's her. It's Chris Brown. Now, in the six of uh, coins, I didn't turn it in reverse. But this did absolutely come in in reverse, meaning that Chris was, a, he was abusing his, 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 he was abusing these women. And I don't mean punching them, y'all. I mean, he was emotionally abusing them. He was placing himself in between both of them and shit, this nigga was this nigga was big dog. And he's like, I'm that nigga. I'm Chris Brown. I got two fine ass bitches. Well, Karuche is mid, but and Rihanna is fine. But in Chris's mind, I got two fine ones. I got two phenotypes, if you will. You know, I fuck Karuche. Rihanna is fucking beautiful. 
He on one hand thinking, you know, I, I don't really want to be seen out with Cruce, but I'm going to give her what she want, give her a little bit of airtime, you know, and that's exactly what he did. Put the bitch on, you know. She made a statement when they broke up, Thomas, and when he says the only reason why she's popping is because of him. He was telling the fucking truth. Like, bitch, he put you on. Chris Brown really put her ass on, and that's what she wanted, you know. But she wanted what Rihanna had in the aspect of the uh, Six of Coins being upright. Chris was doing more for Rihanna than he was doing or did for this stupid bitch creep Karucha. And she wanted to, she wanted it. She got it. They broke up and she began to get exactly what the fuck he got. Well, he gave her. He began to get exactly what, well, this is Rihanna and Chris Brown's breakup. And this is Karucha receiving exactly what Chris Brown was giving her. See, she forgot that she was the fucking side chick. Okay. So when she moved Rihanna out the way, as most dumb bitches who do a breakup spell on somebody's relationship do. You never finish the fucking spell out. And I'm not going to say how to finish the spell out on here because I know a weird bitch is watching. You know, Risa might go and record video 50 fucking one and say that, you know, she anyway. <laughs> uh, Karucha got exactly what the fuck he was giving Rihanna. He was cheating on Rihanna, so he, he started cheating on her. And when he began cheating on her and embarrassed the holy hell out of her stupid ass and put that baby, or not that baby, let me call Princess Royalty by her name. When he got Princess Royalty, honey, and now you feeling stupid. Now here she is again. We in the theme of butthurt ass bitches. Here she is butthurt and stupid and in her feelings. How can he do this to me? Oh, look at me. You know, she gives that energy, y'all. And that may not be her, but Karucha gives that energy. Like, look at me. Like, she's dull. Anyway, this is what she's doing. Mad because she got exactly what Chris Brown was giving Rihanna. All them fights and shit that they went through, all of that shit Chris Brown and Rihanna went through. See, she did the spell, broke them up, and asked the universe or her higher being to bring him over there to her. But she didn't ask the universe to clear up all this nonsense he was doing before he brought his black ass over there. See, what he did was left one woman and came over there and did worse to you. So Karuche can't get over that. And I know that part was real long, y'all, but I had to say this to show y'all who it is that's doing this shit to Chris Brown. Other than Chris Brown did it to himself, again, the choices in women that he's chosen. This is coming back to get him, and a lot of you men that are watching, y'all need to pay attention. A lot of these bitches be witches, and I'm not saying you don't do what you do, but be careful and at least cleanse yourself after dealing with somebody, you know, even if they ain't a witch so that you can move their energy off. Chris Brown ain't did that. He been crashing for a minute, y'all. And it's because Karuche's ego won't allow her to let this shit go. Hell, the bitch might even be the forgot where the fuck she buried the jar at, but she's absolutely doing this work on him out of ego, trying to stop him, trying to fuck him up, trying to make sure, you know, he don't move on. She's putting shit in his path regarding his past so that she can stop his motherfucking bag, okay? And while Chris had favor a couple years ago, not a couple, it's been before the pandemic, he was good in the public eye. He's still good. I still fuck with Chris Brown, and I always will. But people are starting to turn on him. And that's exactly what Karuche's motherfucking spell wanted. She made sure that while people were working with Chris and fucking with him now, she put a change in that. She made sure, well, let me let me put some shit in the air and make sure that he um starts to fail. And I know y'all like, you think that bitch that powerful goddamn right. If you know what the fuck you're doing, even if you're a novice ass witch, you can knock some shit over. However, if you're a novice witch, you're definitely going to do the shit wrong. Even if it hit that person, it's going to come back to you, bitch. Y'all better watch these spiteful ass acts that y'all do. You cannot do spiteful work, okay? It's either just or unjust. And although in voodoo, uh, deserve got nothing to do with it. You can't just strike people, honey. That's what Karuche is doing instead of getting over it. That's why Chris Brown is crashing. Like I said, he um, is experiencing a lot of people that's crossing him up. Again, the people that once worked with him or were on his squad to claim they were his friends, they, they're turning his, they back on him. And they are uh, piggybacking off of the fact that they're using that shit from the past. Okay, They're all springboarding and piggybacking off the very same thing, despite the fact that Rihanna has moved on. You know, y'all always want to say, 
It's about the victim. It's about this. It's about that. But if the victim has moved on, how dare y'all reopen that wound on her? Hmm? Didn't think about that, huh? Rihanna uh, is happy. Damn near married. Got Riza and Riot. Got ASAP Rocky and his beautiful, smooth chocolate skin. She done moved on. My my girl, my, my good Pisces sis is a fucking billionaire. She wasn't a billionaire then. Rihanna's bragging different now, y'all. Why y'all still stuck in the past? But this is what people are doing. And I know that I wanted to tell y'all who the fuck it was that was uh that's also assisting this process and possibly doing his own work. Baby, it ain't nobody but Usher, okay? Usher wants to take Chris Brown's spot ever since Chris Brown came out. And I don't care what y'all say, okay? Usher, Usher, well, he's got some hits. I'm not going to take that from him. He ain't no motherfucking Chris Brown, okay? And I can say this confidently because I grew up in the 90s. I was there when the nigga did, what was his first fucking song called me a Mac? You, If you ain't heard that, you ain't no Usher fan. Anyway, that wasn't his first song, but that was one of his first uh, songs when he got on. You ain't heard that song. You don't know what I'm talking about. Sit your ass down before you type in these comments. But anyway, Usher is doing that because him and Chris Brown had that fight. And not only was it uh, he and Chris Brown that had that fight, this has a lot to do with Tiana Taylor, too. She's mixed up in this shit, too. See, Chris thought that this was his friend. They were calling themselves besties, sisters, brothers, all of that. Tiana was just there to absorb Chris's light as well. And I know y'all might love her. I'm changing my opinion on Tiana Taylor. She doing some real bird-like shit, and I don't like it. And yes, I'm well, I, I'm, I can change my motherfucking mind about people, and I did. It's like I changed my motherfucking mind about Krishan, but we gonna get there. Anyway, yeah, this is uh, that uh, past friendship that he and um, Tiana Taylor had and Usher had. They had to fight at Chris Brown's party, and this is where this is coming from. Not only that, Usher has always been jealous of um, of Chris Brown. By leaps and bounds, his career eclipsed his. I think that they didn't expect Chris to be around as long as he was. They didn't expect Chris to be as successful as an um, adult artist, and he has. He has. But yeah. Chris is going to have to go within himself and, and cleanse himself, like I said, because these relationships are falling apart. And Karuche, Usher, and motherfucking Tiana Taylor aims to see him fucked up and, and sitting alone. Now, they're going to try to disguise this under, oh, he needs to go to rehab, and he, and he doesn't need to go to rehab any more than the rest of them do. But if Chris has a problem, he should, but he should go on his own accord. They are going to try to use that next. It is going to be his drug problem. He's going to magically have this super duper drug problem. And we know, Chris. Come on, blood. We know what you do. But anyway, they're going to try to say he has all of these addictions. And this is why they don't want to fuck with him. They're really getting ready to try to tear Chris Brown down to a point to where it's that he loses a lot of fans. Again, it's about loss of relationships. All because Karuche punk ass can't get him back. Can't have that dick, baby. She can't have that Taurus dick. That Taurus dick drove her crazy. But, and what drove Usher and Tiana Taylor crazy? Jealousy. Jealousy is a motherfucker. But anyway, they're trying to make him lose. And for the most part, y'all, they are going to be successful. At least for the present future, they are. Um, and it is because he is being trapped to his past. People are there. They're going to make sure that they don't release him from this. And it's some type of punishment they're trying to put on him. They they definitely want to see Chris Brown's career come to an end, honey. These folks, along with these these uh, hip hop execs and these people that's uninviting him to shit like fuck Ruffles, y'all didn't have to do my man's like that. But you know they're attempting to put him out of his misery. Um, I worry about Chris Brown a lot. In the aspect of when we have celebrities who start speaking up about certain shit. Now, I'm not saying all the shit Chris says is right, but he be saying some poignant shit sometimes. And I think that he might be then ruffled some feathers. And because Usher is looking for a way back up top, and y'all know he just dropped the album, okay? Pay attention. 
This is all in the timeline of them chopping Chris Brown down just so that Usher's album could show up, okay? And Hove might got a little bit to do with this shit too, y'all. Now we we gonna pull in, we gonna do another reading on that because we gotta update Puff too anyway, so we gotta add Hove in that. But they are really, really going to try to paint him as an imbalanced, fucked up individual. And they dead ass trying to stop my man's bag. And they trying to stop blood opportunities. And they trying to make sure that he ain't got shit going on. But I hope that Chris Brown motherfucking keep his head up, you know. He is that he is. He is showing up in his energy. Now, sometimes the king of uh, pinnacle shows up with Taurus energy. But sometimes it shows up with Leo energy. But we going to call this Chris Brown today because there are bulls in the background. They're trying to silence his music as well, y'all. This is down with the, uh, you know, he's singing. This is his life. They're trying to take this man's music career away from him. They're trying to silence his voice singing. And that's how I'm telling y'all that's Usher's motherfucking ass. That's Usher. Usher's in a stance of make sure he's probably chanting, make sure that nobody's checking for Chris Brown's music. You know, and then, let me reverse him. This is Usher who is the older man who is trying to gain favor amongst the public or trying to make sure that he's the favorite. This is why he's doing this. This is what he's doing. He's making sure that he chant that shit over him. And he's, he's working with a couple other people too. That's why I fuck with Jay-Z and I understand certain moves that he makes. But certain things he be doing be real cutthroat. And the fact that he's still participating in this shit to silence Chris Brown is madness. That's how Usher got the goddamn Super Bowl. Because, come on, now, did you? I didn't enjoy the halftime show. I'm not afraid to say it. It was very mid. It was very lackluster. Uh, Prince did a better show. Beyonce definitely did a better show. Usher's show was more so along the line of Shakira and J-Lo for me. Real. They're putting it up there with Rihanna because Miss Fenty shut shit down too, but... Y'all know Beyonce cut the motherfucking lights off, baby. But he wasn't up there with them, you know? Don't ask me to mention no crackers, y'all, because it's Black History Month. I don't know who the fuck else. I mentioned J-Lo and, and Shakira. That's white enough. That, 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 that's that's uh, uh, white Latine. That's good enough for y'all. But anyway, they are definitely trying to make sure they tear this man up. Again, that's how Usher got Super Bowl. But... Like I said, Chris is going to have to go within himself to see that this is because of certain choices that he made. And I say that as a fan of Chris Brown, because, again, I fuck with him. I hope that he does come from up under this because he is holy like, yo, why y'all can't move on? The only problem is while he's still calm, he's still in a fighting mode. And that's still him being underneath the spell work, y'all. That's both Karuche and motherfucking Usher spell work. Not that they're working together. I don't mean to insinuate that. And they could be. Hollywood fucks in a circle, so they could be. But anyway, what I'm saying is there are two people, tan or three people, excuse me. Let me not leave Tiana out. There are three people tandemly putting work on this man. They're trying to make sure that he, um, oh, my damn mouth is sticking. I must be talking too much. <laughs> They're trying to make sure that nobody moves on from the shit that he did in his past. He is in fight mode, like I said, because he has his swords out. If he was in a situation of maybe the Seven of Wands in reverse, I'd be like, okay, well, at least Chris is, uh, you know, at least not feisty, but he's still in the mood to fight. And while, well, like I said, Rihanna has fucking moved on, and she knows that this was both a bad period in both of their lives as um, young people. Y'all won't move on. Y'all won't move on. And honestly, Rihanna don't fucking understand why the fuck y'all ain't let shit go. That's the crazy part. She's showing up looking for mental clarity on like, why are y'all spinning the block on this? I gave you bitches RZA and Riot. What more do y'all, y'all doing this because Miss Fenty ain't put the ASAP told y'all she got music coming out. Wait, anyway. Rihanna's like, now, come on now. Why are y'all still stuck in a stalemate on something that happened to me years ago? I've let it go. I'm cool. I've moved on. I use it to inspire me to be a better woman. I use it to inspire me to not choose this type of shit in a new relationship. And for the most part, she hasn't. 
That shit with Drake was no, I don't count that as a relationship, y'all. And you would never get me to. Fuck light skinned Aubrey. <laughs> anyway, I know I keep on saying that, y'all, but you know, you light skins been cutting up lately. Y'all really been cutting up, yeah. With Krishan motherfucking trying to drag brown skin and dark skin people. We ain't gonna have that back. We ain't gonna have it. I don't I don't like that. And I want y'all to stop doing that. That's not cool. But anyway, let me get through the rest of this reading because we had 20 motherfucking minutes already. And I'm tired of talking. Chris ain't gave up on himself. Like I said, if he had come in as the Seven of Wands in upright position, I mean, in seven, in the Seven of Wands in reverse, which he did, but I don't want to put him in reverse because I like y'all to see the card first before I reverse it. He is going to get to a point to where it's that he lays down this fight and he's going to be like, all right, what y'all want me to do? Because he still has hope and faith within himself. And y'all can't be mad at him. He wants to keep, He will. he's willing to work on himself. Like I said, he's going to get to a point like, all right, what the fuck y'all want me to do? And that's probably literally how he's going to say it. Because, you know, Chris Brown has zero filter. So what the fuck do y'all want me to do? And he wants y'all to come to him with some real solutions now. Don't go to that man with no bullshit. Because, like I said, he's still Chris Brown. He's going to still cut up with you if you say something stupid to him. But that said, he is who he is, y'all. Don't 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 help these older ass artists step on these young artists. Because that's all it is, y'all. Okay? Now let's let's give Chris a break, y'all. He's coming in with the four of cups and it was motherfucking in, in reverse, y'all. Like, let's give him a break. Let, let's move on past this, you know. Let's let Rihanna have a piece that she has, okay? Let's let Rihanna be happy. Let's let Chris find his happiness. Let's leave that alone. Y'all, that was way pre-pandemic and shit. Shit. We had a fucking black president then. We even had two crackers in office and then probably getting ready to get a third. Uh, let me put this disclaimer in here for you Trump supporters. Just follow me. Trump is not going to win the election. Trump is not going to win the election. Trump is not going to win the election. Okay, back to the reading. Let's move on. Now, let, let's turn the page on this shit. Because at a certain point, y'all, it sounds like a lot of y'all are holding on to this shit and projecting some shit onto a situation you had not a motherfucking thing to do with in the first fucking place. Sure. I understand there are DV victims. Sure. I understand that this may, that, that the shit might have triggered you. And if it did, I'm not taking it from you. I don't diminish anybody's pain. I don't diminish anybody's experience. Some of y'all is lying. Some of y'all are lying and projecting shit. And writing shit on this man's page and doing shit out of spite because you think you're doing something to help Rihanna again. Rihanna has moved on, okay? Rihanna has moved on. It is time for us to let this shit go. You're not doing anything continuing to admonish that man. You're not doing anything to admonish him. Um, Sure, it probably hurts him or irritates him at the most because I don't see it hurting his feelings. Uh... I think that he's getting tired of the shit, as I would too. But as I said, Chris Brown is not going to give up. Y'all ain't going to get rid of that Taurus man quick, okay? I don't know what the fuck Usher and them got going on. But baby, it's going to be some real big karma in hip-hop. It's going to be some real big karma in hip-hop. And just so y'all don't think that I'm bashing people and doing that, Chris Brown is aware that this is his karma, y'all. He's aware that the shit that he did back then because he was out of control in certain situations, he's aware of that. The man is taking responsibility and had. He took the shit back then, but y'all keep bringing it up, so now he's going to have to show y'all again. He's going to have to show you again that he took responsibility for it back then. If he didn't, him and Rihanna would not have been able to make up. Understand, okay? Once you cut a Pisces, once you hurt a Pisces, if you ain't apologized right... Thou shall not be in their presence. How do I know that? My motherfucking mama a Pisces. And I know how she get down, okay? I've got friends that are Pisces. Once you done, you done, okay? Let me make sure I got lipstick on my teeth. Anyway, once you're done, you're done with a Pisces, you know? Not that Rihanna hates Chris Brown, but she's moved on, y'all. Rihanna is happy. She has her family. Leave her out of y'all bullshit, okay? Leave her out of y'all karma. Don't try to out of y'all fake issuance of karma because hip-hop you ain't get fucked around because y'all doing too much reckless magic. 
Y'all doing way too much reckless magic. And it's a bunch of you hip hop stupid ass motherfuckers that's jumping in and doing shit that your ass ain't never did before. And it's going to cause a ripple effect that's going to be terrible in hip hop. Aside from this terrible ass music. By the way, y'all, speaking of you light skins, let me put this out here. Ice Spice is not fine, and I know that's way elsewhere or so you think. Listen to me when I say this karma that's coming for, to, for hip-hop. They're trying to knock certain people out the way, okay? Don't say Nikki, y'all, uh, because Nikki shot her own self, okay? She shot her own self. She put the gun in her mouth and shot her own self and blew her own fucking brains out. This ain't for Nikki. Nikki is her biggest op, and until she figured that out, she going to stay in this angry, coke snorting ass place. She can be a happy cokehead with the rest of them, but she refuses to be. Anyway, that ripple effect is coming in hip-hop because these people are doing this reckless magic and trying to step on humans for no fucking reason just for the fact of controlling people. And let me put these industry plants in. While y'all talking about industry plants, Ice Spice is the industry plant, okay? Except she can't rap. And real hip-hop people are people that like hip-hop, they gonna look at this shit like, what is this shit she's doing? She's not gonna get the steam and traction that they think she is. Don't know who the fuck she's trying to replace, but this is what's going on in hip-hop. This is why Chris Brown is being chopped down. This is why they're trying to take his legs from out, out from up under him. Not only are they trying to put Usher back in front and trying to make him the one, you know, because he's more safe. He's more family friendly. That's why he got the Super Bowl. That's why they chose him. He's a household name. He's not violent. He's not this. He's not that. They're trying to erase Chris around and put Usher back up here. Let's do our update on fucking hip hop, y'all. That's the end of this reading, y'all. Keep our brother up in our in your prayers, honey, because you know how these folk in this hip hop industry and in Hollywood get down, you know. Chris Beaton Beaton said some shit. Next thing we know, we was somehow his plane crashes in the Bahamas. Yeah, that was that was that was a reference towards Aaliyah, because I'm gonna do a reading on her too, because y'all some people out here that are making not making up stories, but they're embellishing shit and saying shit about what happened back then, and these motherfuckers weren't even born. So we're going to talk about that, too. We're just going to talk about hip-hop in general, y'all. But this is the end of this reading. This has been long, and I hope that y'all stuck through it, through the whole reading. Thank y'all for subscribing and tuning in. Check y'all out later.